What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. And today I'm going to go over four plays in the Warriors playbook here in 2K24. And at the end, I will also mention a few other plays that can be useful as well. All of these plays are on new gen. Some of them may be on old gen. Some of them may not be. I'm not too sure. But with that being said, let's get into it. The first play is GSW Quick One Punch Flare Fist. This is a three point play and you can use it to get threes on the wing, but it also flows into a double ball screen. So right here, I call it for Curry. He starts on the block. Clay has the ball at the top. And then uh, Curry, he'll get this screen from Looney and come out to the wing. So a lot of times you'll be open for this three. And, you know, if you're open, you can take it. But if you don't get the shot, you can just hold. And then the play goes into this double ball screen for Curry. And so here, once you take the screens, Looney, he'll roll. And Clay, he'll end up fading out. So it's just reading the defense. And so right here, Pozingas, he doesn't really hedge. So he gives up the midi. Um, you could potentially get some some threes, even though like those pull up fading threes aren't as consistent as they was last year. You can still make them. You just have to be really like you'd really have to know your timing, especially on the higher difficulties. But right here, I, I'm able to get into the mid range for a pull up. You can also do something like this as well. So uh, Curry, he comes off the screen and then. You can run like your defender into the screen and then cross back the opposite way. So right here, uh, Derek White gets caught up on the screen. So now you either have a lane to the rim. You can, you know, get into your mid range if um, yeah, the hedge defender drops. But right here, I run Derek White into the screen and then I'm able to get all the way to the rim with, you know, nice little scoop. The next play is GSW quick split rip. This is a three point play that is designed to get you a three on the wing, but you also have a cutting option as well. So right here, I call it for Curry. He starts the ball at the top. You pass it off to Looney on the wing and, and you just hold the ball so Curry could get to the block. And then you pass it off to Draymond. And then Curry sets this screen for Clay, and then he dives to the rim. So you might be able to hit him on this cut. Or, you know, if you play my team in my NBA and you have somebody that's pretty athletic, you might be able to get a lob through. But as he, the, after that happens, Curry, he comes out and gets this screen from Looney and goes out to the wing. And so this play is pretty effective because a lot of the times this defender, he like he usually gets like a step or two behind which is all you really need to get an open shot because sometimes he'll back up to like cover um this cut right here so right here he he doesn't cover Jalen brown i could hit clay on a cut right here for a layup but a lot of times he'll like back up so that clay doesn't get the lob or the or the you know or the pass and then that leaves curry to come out to the wing and you know he also has to get through the screen so it usually puts this defender like one two steps behind which is all you need for an open shot the next play is give warrior fist two. this is a handoff play but you can use it to get some backdoor cuts as well as a couple three-point opportunities So right here, I call it for Curry. He starts with the ball at the top. And then you pass it off to Looney at the elbow. And then uh, Clay, he gets the screen from Wiggins and comes out to the wing. So you have a three-point opportunity here. And if you're in a real game and you make this pass and you don't get open, the play still continues to run. So you could give it back to Looney in the on the elbow. And after Curry makes the pass, he like cuts behind him. So you got a potential uh, backdoor cut for a layup here. But if you just hold the ball, Clay gets another screen from Wiggins, goes to the corner. So you got another potential three here. And then Curry, he sets this screen for Draymond. And Draymond goes baseline, he cuts to the rim. And so I hit him right here. A lot of times you'll have this open layup, but, you know, sometimes the defense will help. So um, I just make the extra pass to the corner and get Clay a three. 
So this play is actually pretty nice. You got a lot of different things going on. You got a lot of different options. I can see this play being really good for a player like Jokic. Just have him at the elbow and then have all these different actions happening around him. And if all else fails, you could just create a shot from the post. And the last play is quick 32 horns. This is a three point play and it's designed to get you a three on the wing. So right here, I'll call it for Clay. He starts off in the corner. Curry has the ball at the top. I pass it off to Looney on the wing or the elbow. And then Clay, he gets these two screens. He comes out to the wing and he gets open for the three. Now, one thing I will say is that, you know, practicing a lot with, you know, especially double screen plays like this or just, you know, even simple down screen plays. Um, defenders, they get through screens pretty effectively. Um, you're not going to get like wide open a lot of the time. But uh, something I noticed is that you have to be on time with your passes. Like if your pass is too late, your defender will catch up to you. So a lot of the times, especially like in the past, I will wait until Clay is like right here in order to, well, I will wait till Clay is like right here in order to pass him the ball. But if you wait till he's already open, it's too late. So I noticed that when, when he hits like, especially in double screen plays, when he hits like the first screener, I start throwing him the ball because by the time he hits Draymond, the second screener, he has the ball already. And that might not sound like a lot, but trust me, it makes a big difference and you get open a lot more consistently. Obviously, defense is still defense. A lot of times they still get through the screens and play good defense. But I'm telling y'all, making the passes at the right time will help a lot. And right here is just another quick example. But, but when he hits Curry, the ball is already going. And by the time he hits Draymond, again, he has the ball. So... I'm telling you, make these passes on time. Sometimes it'll like push you, you know, into the mid range and you won't get the three. But I'd rather have an open mid range than, you know, the defender catch up to me trying to get a three. So make those passes on time. There's also a couple other actions you can get from this play as well. You could get a three for Clay on this wing right here. So I'll pass it to Looney, but this time I'll pass it off to Wiggins in the post. And then Clay, he still gets these two screens from. Um, Steph and Dre and then he will also get this screen from Looney come out to the wing and right here he gets open for the three you can also get a double ball screen as well so um, normally you're supposed to make this pass to Looney but if you just hold the ball it makes you dribble to the wing and then um, Draymond and Looney set you this uh, double ball screens and from here it's just reading the defense and see what they give you So those are the four plays, but like I said, there are some other plays that are useful as well. GSW fist 15 double. Um, it's just a simple double ball screen. So you get this right here. You know, you can get into your midi. You can like just read the defense and see what they give you. GSW fist 51 give is another good one. This is actually a pick and fade three play, but it's a handoff that goes into a pick and fade. So you hand the ball to Curry right here. And um, this play is good for, you know, athletic slashing type players but it could also be good for uh smaller guards that are really quick because of you know all the the different layup options that you have available to you now so um right here you get the handoff and take the screen and if you're able to turn a corner and the big man he doesn't like get his body in front of you you're able to turn a corner you could do some floaters or quick scoop layups at the rim to you know score at the rim even though you have a smaller guard that can't dunk also, if you're using plays and you actually do handoffs, you need to change your controller settings. So um, I have mine on handoff slash pitch pass because by default, it's on receiver get open. But if you use full receiver control and you try to do um, you hold B or circle to like try to do a handoff, the play will just stop. So um I have it on handoff slash pitch pass. So when I run plays, I can hold B and the play won't stop. And I actually get a handoff animation. Quick 12 down elevator is another one. It's just a, a nice little elevator screen, even though elevator screens, they, they look good, but they're not like always like functional, but you might be able to get some threes off from it. 
Punch Wing 2 is another one. Um, You could get some threes for whoever's in that corner over there. So I call it for Andrew Wiggins, but I don't make this first pass. And I'm able to get Clay a three. I remember this play from the Suns playbook. And I used to use it for Devin Booker. And like I said, be on time with those passes. Because if you wait too long and you wait until like he's here to to start throwing the pass, um, the defender's going to catch up. But by the time he hits the first screener, like the ball, the ball is already in the air when he hits Draymond. By the time he catches the ball, he's still on Draymond. He didn't even get through Looney yet. So the like, the, there's no way he was gonna get there. the defense. You know, they end up like um, Porzingis ends up hedging out, which is you know what you want. You could force switches that way, and you and plus like like when big men contest like this, like a lot of times they don't have challenger and they have pretty low perimeter defense, so they don't get like really high contest a lot of times unless they actually jump. But if they kind of do this, like kind of half step running hand up thing, they don't really get good contest. So, tell y'all, make them passes on time. I just had to go to scrimmage mode to show this one, but they also have ISO twelve high still. This this play this play been in the playbook for years now, but um, pass it out to Dre in the post, and then Clay he gets these double screens. You, you know you can make this pass, and the play will still continue to run. But I just hold it. And after that, Curry, he gets these two screens and he goes out to the corner. So you got a potential wing three or a corner three. And yeah, I get the corner three right here. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, as always, I hope this helped you. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.